Hi everyone, I'm Scott from Sharky's Greenhouses and Beat Your Neighbor Fertilizer and today we're showing off one of my oopses and as you can see this plant is a little bit fussing and it's fussing because it's very dry. So now when you have a hanging basket like this um, you, you have that initial moment where you're like oh no! So what we don't want to do is what I call the knee-jerk reaction. And so this plant is wilting because it's very dry and it's very light. I, I know that it's dry because I'm picking it up and it feels like that bag of popcorn. Now, if, if this hanging basket is light, it should almost be like a bag of popcorn versus if it's wet and heavy, maybe it's much more like a bag of flour or sugar, you know, something that has some heft to it. So this can look the same as being wilted from being dry, but it can also be wilted from being over wet. So you do want to make sure that you check, is it dry or is it wet? Because they do look the same, but this is obviously dry and everything indicates that so don't do what we call the knee-jerk reaction and that is it's dying from being too dry we're not going to rescue it by coming in and dumping five gallons of water on it because it's just going to die the other way it's going to be dying from being drowned from too much water don't do that that's the knee-jerk reaction and so many people get this wrong and they just constantly stress these plants out going from one extreme to the other and that plant is never nice and down right down the middle of the road it's always dying from thirst dying from being too wet dying from being too dry and it, it absolutely stresses out the plant and it will die regardless it'll give up the ghost because it's so tired of playing that yo-yo game don't do that you want to be right down the middle keep this at a consistently moist with the watering. So don't do the knee jerk reaction. So what am I gonna do? How am I gonna bring this plant back? Well, I'm just gonna add some water. And I know that sounds really simple, but I cannot make up for lost time, all right? So if this plant was uh, two days without water, I cannot make up for two days. It, it doesn't work that way. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of water, especially with that soil is so dry right now. What happens when I water it is that water will just tend to shed off. So I'm not gonna go through and add a gallon of water and try to make up for last time because it's just gonna shed that right off. That soil gets so hard and it just sheds that right off. We have to just get it wet. So I'm gonna take my watering can and you know, this, this two gallon can, it's right now it's not even a third full. And I'm not gonna add all of that because it's, it, this plant will not accept all of it. I just wanna get it wet so that I can come back in a half an hour or an hour and then properly water it. So we're just gonna add a little bit of water right now just so that it starts accepting some of that water. And it's, it's starting to go in. I can feel my hand getting a little bit cold on the, on the bottom. So that's good. So maybe just a little bit more I don't want to pour it out the bottom. You see, I didn't add that much water because I can't make up for it. I just want to get this wet. I just want to give it a little bit of moisture. I'm going to come back in maybe an hour. I've got another, uh, that was a super petunia. This is a caliber koa. Uh, I, this, this is a pet koa. So it's a hybrid of the petunia and the caliber koa. So this is a pet koa. And, uh, these are constantly doing this. Uh, they, they drink a lot of water, so it's not uncommon to have a pet koa that's uh, fussing a little bit. So same thing, I, you know, it's dry. I'm confirming that, that it's dry by lifting it up and yeah, it's, it feels like a bag of popcorn. It desperately needs water. So again, not gonna do the knee-jerk reaction. I'm just gonna add some water. Like I said, this can only had about a third uh, uh, of the way up of water. I already put some in the other basket. I'm gonna just put some in here. And it's, it's not a lot. It's, I'm just getting it wet right now because again, I'm gonna come back in an hour and water this properly and maybe two hours. It, it might be a few hours and you'll see that it'll start perking up. But it might take a few hours 
for this plant to really start absorbing you know that moisture into the roots and into the plant so i'm just getting it wet just a little bit so that's where so many people get into trouble is that knee-jerk reaction and they try to overdo it and you can't overdo it do not take this plant and go from one extreme to the other one extreme to the other because the plants will stress and they'll eventually die if you do that over and over and make that a bad habit so proper watering is always the key so no knee-jerk reaction just take it a little bit and get that plant stepping back to being healthy and being uh, properly watered so hope you like these tips if you're if you're liking our videos please give us a thumbs up and be sure to follow us on facebook and also hop over to youtube and uh, follow subscribe to us there and be sure to check out our beatyourneighbor.com website for a lot more tips and tricks at beatyourneighbor.com thanks for watching hope you enjoy it